Hello. I wanted to make a video about our cat, Ash, because I love him. I literally cleaned his puke off of the carpet like 30 minutes before starting this recording. His barf is putrid, but I love him. Anyway, there's kind of a bunch of things that I want to talk about in this video, but first I want to talk about how our cat, Ash, got over 2 million views of him simply just eating a chicken wing. Yeah, so here's the video. It's just a YouTube short of our cat trying to eat a chicken wing. It's really the story behind it that just cracks me up, so I figured it might make sense to actually talk about it more in depth and make, like, a story time video about this moment and also some other things he's done. So yeah, let's watch the video. It was 3 a.m and our box of chicken wings was open and I noticed some paw prints on the kitchen island and sure enough there was a lone chicken wing and a very <laughs> sus looking cat not that far away at first I really didn't want to believe it but then I saw this stain on his chest in the face of pure <laughs> guilt our cat tried to eat a buffalo wing so yeah that was pretty much the whole video and yeah I don't understand why this video has 2 million views I mean it is literally like a 15 second video about our cat eating a chicken wing I can pour hours and hours of effort into content that is like so much better than this but this is what blew up what are you gonna do it's a cat video on YouTube but I do want to kind of break down this video and talk more about this whole situation because there are a lot of comments who are kind of like confused about it. So here's the full story about how this happened. Okay, so for some more context on the story, Karina and I had ordered some food. For the life of me, I cannot remember where we ordered from, but I do know that the chicken wings were not like the main thing that we ordered. I want to say that we ordered some pizza and the chicken wings were just like an appetizer, you know, something extra to have. Just keep in mind for this story that the chicken wings are not the main course. There were a good amount of comments asking why we left the chicken wings out, you know, like why didn't we put them in the refrigerator? So here's the thing. I was planning on eating these chicken wings later at night and I didn't want to put them in the fridge. I didn't want to ruin like the texture of the consistency. So I just left them out. Our sleep schedule is all sorts of messed up. And I wanted to eat these chicken wings at 3 a.m. But we were playing video games that night and we got off at 3 a.m. And I wanted to eat the chicken wings. And I saw that the box was open and I saw this chicken wing on our kitchen island. I'm pretty sure we had like four chicken wings left over. I think it was like an eight piece, which I know is not that much. Again, I'm blanking on the place that was actually selling these wings, but they definitely overcharged for like way too little wings, which I hate. But that's a completely different tangent. The whole point is that I wanted to have the four chicken wings like as a late night snack. But then I saw that one of the chicken wings was out of the box. It was dragged across the kitchen island. And in the distance, I saw our cat, Ash, and he was looking very suspicious. Since I was pretty sure it was him, I decided to get out my phone and record it because I thought it'd be funny, which it was. Obviously, I did not eat that fucking chicken wing or any of the other chicken wings because he tried to get into them. He tried to eat them. I was not going to have that. And not that long after recording that, Karina and I were putting Evie and Ash to bed. And while Karina was holding him, I happened to notice that he had a mark from the buffalo sauce on his chest, which 100% completely confirmed that this mother tried to eat our chicken wings. He wanted a little taste of that spicy buffalo. But here's the thing. Cats, and I'm pretty sure dogs as well, cannot eat spicy food. It's actually dangerous for them. So I wanted to give you guys a follow-up and some reassurance that our cat tried to eat the spicy chicken wing, but he failed. <laughs> It's pretty apparent to me that what happened is he jumped up on the kitchen island and he opens the box, which by the way, these boxes do not stay closed all that well. I remember this specific like paper takeout box did not close all that well. And cats get curious. So I'm pretty sure that he jumped up on the island and was able to open it up. And then I'm sure he wanted to eat the chicken. He either tried to get it out with his paws or he picked it up in his mouth for a brief amount of time before the spice most likely disgusted him and he just dropped it and then ran away. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. And I know for a fact that some people saw this video and they're just like, well, what? what's the point of it? Like, why'd you post this? And that is precisely why the story time is so important because that's not the first time that he's tried doing this. The year was 2021. It was Thanksgiving. We invited our family over and we cooked tons of food. By the end of the event, we were too tired to clean up and put everything away, so we just left our food on the kitchen island. You see where this is going? Well, if you can't see where this is going, then you would probably be a terrible cat because our cat, Ash, tried to eat the turkey. It was essentially like our own little inside joke within the family about how we tried to eat the turkey during Thanksgiving. But just like the chicken wing, he didn't do this in broad daylight or when everyone was actually over and we could see what he was doing. He did this like stealthily. This cat plotted to eat the turkey and the chicken wing when no one was looking. Now, when it came to the whole turkey Thanksgiving situation and him actually eating the turkey. I didn't film it because I really didn't have as much proof. I mean, technically there was like some proof, like there were some grease marks like on the island and I think on the floor too, from where he was actually like getting some of the meat and dragging it and trying to eat it. And I'm pretty sure he actually did eat the turkey. It didn't have any kind of like spice, like the buffalo chicken wing. I'm pretty sure it just had like some barbecue flavor or something. It was, it, it was fine. I do want to stress in this video that our cat is completely healthy. He's fine. Nothing's wrong with him. Ash is doing swell, still puking up food and hairballs, but uh, that's part of being a cat. But yeah, that's basically the backstory for how this whole entire video kind of came to be. I'm glad that it actually got out there and so many people enjoyed it. We gained thousands of subscribers from this video, which is absolutely crazy. But yeah, since this video is like really random, I wanted to talk about a couple of other things as well. We actually hit 100,000 followers on TikTok. Links in the description of all my videos if you guys want to follow me on there and see what I'm doing over there. Aside from that, I've got a brand new video on the music channel. I did a cover of Tender Surrender by Steve Vai. I'll have a link in the description of this video if you guys want to check that out too. It was a lot of fun to put this video together because I learned something new from an editing perspective. I started using some 
something called multicam in Final Cut. When I recorded this cover of Tender Surrender, I had four different cameras all pointing at me. And when you create a multicam clip, it automatically syncs all of them up. It made it way easier to actually have everything in sync and to actually make this video and change perspective, which was just really cool. It's something that I've never actually messed with before in Final Cut, which pretty much brings me to the last thing that I wanted to talk about in this video. Over the weekend, I decided to take a leap of faith and I updated my main editing computer to like the latest Mac OS. I think it's called like Monterey. I like the cheese. I'm gonna be honest. I'm someone who absolutely hates having to update anything, whether it's my phone, my computer, my editing computer. It doesn't matter what it is. I hate updates. It always scares me and freaks me out because sometimes updates break things, but I wanted to do this because I really wanted to update Final Cut. I wanted to get access to some new features so I can improve my editing. I may or may not be using some of those features in this video. We'll just have to wait and see. But overall, I actually really like the new Mac OS and I do like the new version of Final Cut. I got access to some really cool features. One thing did kind of suck about the update though. For many, many years now, I've used a product called the Razer Orb Weaver, which allowed me to kind of program some extra keys for editing. It was great for like shortcuts in Final Cut. Prior to getting this Mac OS update, I was able to use Razer Synapse 2. You couldn't get Synapse 3 for the latest versions of Mac and you still can't. So essentially this latest upgrade just broke the device. Like, I mean, it didn't literally break it, but I can't actually use it for editing. None of the current or previous software works with the device. It's not really picking it up, so I can't even use it. But aside from that, I am happy with everything else that the newest updates have to offer. And I hope you guys enjoy the increase of quality. From an editing standpoint, I've 100% been trying to improve things and step things up. There's a couple of videos that I put a lot of editing into recently that actually didn't perform that well. And I wish they would have because I put so many hours into these videos. Some of those projects are the Call of Duty cringe compilation number two, along with stuff Fall Guys players say. This video, We Broke Modern Warfare 2019, had so much editing. And again, if you guys want to join these open lobbies, I'll have links in the description below that you can check out. If you join the channel on YouTube or if you sub on Twitch, whether it's a Prime or regular sub, you can get access to the sub only Discord, which we use for the open lobbies. Okay, and I promise this is the last thing I want to talk about for this video. I've got a ton of big video projects coming up. I've been working on some funny montages along with like a big Rage Taj, and we've got Rip Vanguard coming up. So yeah, I hope you guys are hyped for those videos. Woohoo! I don't know why I think it's so funny to get like excited in lowercase. But with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this extremely random video. If you guys did enjoy this video and you're excited for some really awesome video projects coming up soon, make sure to drop a like. And that's about it. See ya.